Yo guys, what is up? <sighs> Today's gonna be a bit different of a video and uh, dude, I need to talk like I need to like vent but not like vent angrily, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I just want to talk to you guys about stuff that's been happening lately and you, you know, if you say you'll probably relate to some of this stuff, especially if you're trying to do YouTube and you're a small channel like me, but uh, yeah, I should just um, get right to it. So I have a whole list of things I want to talk about. So yes, I do have a freaking paper. <laughs> oh boy, guys, like, I don't know why, but procrastination is just such a big issue today. Like earlier, I was procrastinating today. I was like, oh dude, I, I wanna make this video where I just like talk about stuff, right? And I kid you not, I was like, okay, I'm gonna start like right now, right now, dude. The idea t uh, popped into my head at around like 10.45. Can you guess what time it is now, dude? Dude, it's 11.30. I said I was gonna make that video in like five minutes and I just ended up playing Hypixel Duels for like the longest time. If you suffer from procrastination and you think there's no way to solve it, there's a way to solve it. There's a thing called resistance and like that's what you face each time an idea pops into your head. What will happen is you'll start to think more about that idea and the more you think about that idea, the more excuses your brain is gonna make up to not do that idea when really it's it's not even that difficult, you know? And the way to just defeat procrastination is as soon as that idea pops into your head, dude, do it. And then as you become more and more experienced with that resistance you face each time you get an idea, dude, you'll be freaking unstoppable. I think we talked enough about procrastination. <laughs> All right, so next on the list I wanna talk about is, uh perfectionism now if any of you guys suffer from perfectionism you guys are going to relate heavily to this so perfectionism has actually taken such a grasp on my life to where like i just can't like progress sometimes so there's two different types of perfectionism adaptive perfectionism and there's maladaptive perfectionism i'm gonna tell you about maladaptive so i think that my perfectionism is maladaptive simply just because like I just, I just get so, so depressed when I'm trying to get stuff perfect, dude. Like, I just get so depressed. Maladaptive, what, what it'll do is you'll spend much longer on a project than you actually need to, and it'll hold you back, it'll prevent you from trying new things, and overall, it's just gonna freaking depress you. That's maladaptive perfectionism. Now, adaptive perfectionism, that's the stuff that's gonna motivate you, that's the stuff that's gonna push you further, and like, it's just like, okay, so I messed up on this. How can I make this better? That is adaptive perfectionism. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't freaking have that. I don't freaking have that. My perfectionism is just, oh, oh man. Oh is it oh man it's not good enough and then i just like spend the whole day trying to make it good enough when really i probably could have been five minutes ahead on my next video you know i i just have beef with the word perfection now dude like i hear that thing and i'm like <sighs> you know you feel me but yeah dude listen nothing's ever gonna be perfect bro that video you made that that idea that you come up with that video you're planning on making dude that's not gonna be perfect no matter how hard you try nothing will be perfect bro the sooner that you accept that, the better off you'll be, bro. Dude, the best way to combat it is just as soon as an idea pops into your head, this is pretty much like the same thing for procrastination. As soon as something pops into your head, go for it. Get your freaking hands dirty, make a mess, and then once you come out, you're gonna be like, oh, it's not that bad. Whereas if you were a freaking maladaptive perfectionist, you would you would try to get your hands dirty and then be like, oh, no, 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 I don't, I don't like that. And then you're going to change it and then you're going to spend a whole three days on it. But on the contrast, if you weren't, you would, you would spend about like 12 hours on it. You'd come out the other side and you're like, okay, that wasn't bad. How can I make this better? You're going to progress a lot more quickly than the other guy. So dude, give yourself deadlines. Oh, I can't stress that enough. Give yourself deadlines because if you don't have deadlines, dude, you're just going to be working on projects for eternity. You might spend like months on a video as I did when I, that was episode two of Terraria. I spent two months on that thing. So it was so freaking stupid. Basic rundown of perfectionism. It sucks. Nothing's perfect. If you want to get rid of it, as soon as something pops into your head, just go for it. Get your hands dirty. And when you pop out of the other side, look back at it and you're like, 
Okay, how can I make this better? And boom, your perfectionism's gone, dude. It's so freaking easy. Well, actually, no, nah, I can't say it's easy because I haven't even, like, overcome it myself. <laughs> impatience is a big one for me, too. Okay, so let's talk impatience. I am a freaking numbers person, and I got that from my mom. I love you, mom. I love I No offense, but I... You know, we're both numbers people. Like, it sucks being a numbers person, especially if you're doing YouTube and you have a small channel. Because what you're going to do is you're going to look at your analytics and you're going to literally go freaking insane, dude. You're going to go insane. Because when that when that 213 t subscribers doesn't turn into 214 subscribers, you're going to go bonkers, bro. And you're just going to be watching it for so long. Like, you need... Uh, I need to disconnect myself from the nut what was i talking about impatience okay sorry i'm sidetracking you need to just let things run its course i know I, I, I like how i'm talking to you guys like i like i'm a freak your freaking mentor but you need to let things run its course bro like enjoy enjoy the process of becoming a big youtuber enjoy the process of getting better handles in basketball you know enjoy that stuff bro like enjoy the process like appreciate appreciate my guy i i was like you know what i'm gonna enjoy being small because there's probably gonna there's pro oddly enough there's probably gonna be a day when i'm a big youtuber and i kind of just want to be small again if you keep on looking towards the future dude you're never gonna enjoy anything let me say that again if you keep on looking towards the future you're never gonna enjoy anything you're never gonna enjoy the present dude and i love this i love this this quote from disney dude i think it was it was from a kung fu panda movie today is a gift that's why it's called the present dude to solve impatience bro you need to get out of your own head and you just need to enjoy the things you have right now dude. <laughs> let's talk youtube right now youtube's been my dream i've been wanting <sighs> I've been wanting to be a YouTuber ever since I've been a kid, dude. I, I opened up that app and I, I my first YouTuber I watched was Sky Does Minecraft. It was one of his like mod reviews or whatever. I wanted to be a YouTuber from that point. And I wanted to do Minecraft because I loved gaming, dude. Gaming was always fun to me, man. Let me tell you, if you, if you have fun and you're striving for something and you're also having fun while you're striving for that, dude, you're gonna, you're gonna meet your goal you're gonna meet your goal 100 percent. now you're gonna fail every time if that if that fun becomes work and what i mean by that is like if you make minecraft your work like I, minecraft was fun for me right if you make that into a freaking nine to five job where you just you just can't enjoy it anymore more than likely you're gonna fail i've really been struggling with this recently like just trying to have fun because i also have to hustle but i also have to have fun so there's like a there's a weird balance in between you know if you're striving for something and it's turned to work and it was fun for you dude learn how to learn how to enjoy that again <laughs> okay so another thing i want to talk about is like on youtube comparing yourself to other people oh dude huge problem so i would like look at other people's videos like i i kid you not i would look at their videos and i would like compare okay how many views do they get in their in their first 24 hours and how many views do i get and I, dude shut up when you compare yourself to others like perfectionism it's gonna depress you dude like there are so many ways you can drive yourself insane so easily that like nobody just pays attention to like it's so overlooked just comparing yourself to others dude like oh man yeah i'm faster than you oh yeah i have more subs than you dude or yeah i have a better body like bro the less you compare yourself to others i guarantee you the happier you're the happier you're gonna be the better you're gonna become a better person overall and you're just gonna lead a more fulfilling life <laughs> yeah let's talk about anxiety for me this is like a weird one i don't feel like i always had an anxiety and that's probably true yeah I've ne i haven't always had anxiety but from eighth grade to present present like this day i don't know why but like my like my anxiety has become a real thing anxiety roots from oh no trying to predict the future and trying to control everything it's something like that but that's what anxiety stems from and this can take like forms social anxiety 
Like, I don't know all the forms, but, like, I, I can tell you right now, I kind of suffer from social anxiety. But it's been going away. You know, I'll probably make a video elaborating on that if you guys even want me to. Social anxiety, like, you can't control if what, what somebody else is going to think about you. This guy thinks you're ugly. Dude, he thinks you're ugly. So what? If you're in an environment where you can't control stuff, 100% anxiety is going to show its face if you're an anxious person. Anxiety is going to show its face if you're in an environment where you feel like you can't control anything. Where something's out of your hands. 100% anxiety is going to show up. Overcoming anxiety is not easy, man. And you know... I don't know why, but I've always been a person who's been excited by work. I'm like, oh, I got stuff to do? Bro, let's go, you know? I've, I've always just been that kind of person. And, you know, it's really kind of like a blessing, dude. This is going to be a crazy year. This is the year where, like, colleges, start, like, look at. This is the year where, like, they look at your sports, your academics, and all that stuff. And I've been doing really good, like, my sophomore and freshman year. So if I, like, stop now, it's going to look really weird on, like, my resume and stuff like that. So, like, I also have to keep up, you know, the school. But I also, one of my goals this year, I, I want to upload every week this year. And I don't care if I have to make, like, two-minute videos just talking about why I can't, like, upload this week. Or, like, why I'm, like, struggling or stuff that happens. Even if I have to, like, literally get, get my footage from school, I want to upload weekly this year. Along with balancing cross-country and academics, dude. Yo, I don't know how I don't know how I'm gonna make it through this year. Along with this whole coronavirus, bro, I'm gonna get put to the test this year. And you know, I'm honestly like I'm a little excited for it. I'm probably not gonna be excited in the moment, maybe even depressed in the moment, but uh yeah, dude. So so uh man, you're perfectionist or you you procrastinate, bro? Just get on it. You're a perfectionist, dude, don't worry about it. If you're impatient, just enjoy enjoy the moment. It, you know, if you're struggling between bouncing your life between work and fun, bro, have fun because if as soon as you make fun work, you lose. Dude, if you're if you're an anxious person, bro, realize that some stuff are is just out of your control and then just be okay with that. And if you don't know what the future holds, bro, it's okay because none of us knows what the future holds. Only God knows what the future holds, dude. My name is Bentaco. <sighs> and enjoy yourself. Peace out, gamers.